Welcome to A1 Television. Let's waste no time and give you a breakdown of the rules here on A1. All matches end by pinfall, submission, and count out of 10 on the outside, or disqualification for illegal activity. Our one fall matches include singles, tag team, three-way dance, and six-way dance. Those matches not being contested with one fall and our elimination style include fatal four-way and six-man tag. Let's get right into this red-hot action here with Just Insane taking on Michael Von Payton. Payton is experienced against Just Insane who is new to the game, but can he prevail over Payton? Let's take a look at Just Insane. Justin Sane's a high-risk, high-flying, high-impact wrestler, bringing everything he has all the time. A unique style of offense he blends into his arsenal, which leads into his finishing move, the Darkness Falls. We've got the legalities on the way here. I'm Noel Villeneuve. I'm Steve Gillen. And we're trying this on for size. We are the official shirt sponsor of A1 and also the official commentators. And while we agree a lot on shirts, we certainly do not see eye to eye in terms of competitors here in the A1. Because I'm behind guys like Michael Von Payton here who have the experience, who have the knowledge, the know-how, and who will get it done in A1. Mark my words. We got Von Payton here really wrenching in that side headlock on Justin Sane. Justin Sane throwing a little jab there. Another one pushing Von Payton off the ropes here. Big shoulder tackle here from Von Payton. Justin Sane goes down hard. Oh, leapfrog. See, you can't count out the agility of Justin Sane. Beautiful maneuver. He is very strong, but how far is this going to get him in a match? When he has no experience, he doesn't have that long-term experience of being in a long match with someone like Von Payton, who does this night in and night out. Huge high drop kick there from Justin Sane. Go for a hammerlock. No! Von Payton takes him right down. I would like to take this moment to point out these fans here in Hamilton chanting Justin Sane. They, they stopped when his head almost went into the second row due to that clothesline from Von Payton. The crowd clearly behind Justin Sane. I don't know if there's a single person out there cheering for Von Payton. Well, maybe just yourself. Does that mean anything at all? These people aren't in the ring with Von Payton. They're not getting obliterated like Justin Sane is right now. Von Payton throwing some shoulder thrusts in there to Justin Sane in the corner. Dave Dredd trying to get in there, but he's not hes not doing enough. But still, Michael Von Payton knows he has to the count of five to get out of that corner, and he's utilizing it to the utmost degree. That's right, five count. Von Payton here really working over Justin Sane in the corner. Just treat him like a rag doll. You're, you're impressive when, when you're flying around, but not when you're getting reverse body slammed by Michael Von Payton. And I would like to take this chance to mention, if he hits that mind bender finisher, this could be over. Von Payton there only getting a two. Give him time, give him time. He's breaking him down. He's hitting him hard with that offense. And I, I, I like Justin Sane, I gotta give him credit here, even though I am a huge fan of Von Payton, but I just think Von Payton has the overall advantage here. Justin Sane with a great backbreaker there on Von Payton. Justin Sane off the ropes. Oh wow, it's the eternal darkness. One, two, and no, no. A little early on for that. No yeah. matter how impressive the maneuver, you're not gonna put away someone like Von Payton that early in a match. I don't care what it is. Justin Sane here jockeying for position, but Von Payton getting the better of him. He's got him up. The egg's over easy. He's got him. He's got, he's he's got, got him. to hook it. He's got to hook it. No. Do not hook it. The ref is ridiculously slow, but I'll deal with that later. These are all legal counts, legal counts. J Dave Dredd there, trained professional A1 referee. And even what Von Payton saying, it's really helps him sarcastically because it doesn't help him. Justin Sane isn't going to mystically get embedded with some sort of form of courage from the fans here. Give me a break. It's called adrenaline. And yes, he can. Von Payton here's got Justin Sane in the corner. Ooh, tossing a knife edge at him. See if he's going to toss another one. He's chopping the adrenaline clean out of Justin Sane right now, no doubt about it. Those fans will recharge him right away. A second one there from Von Payton. Really taking his time here. Really playing with the crowd. He's getting the crowd right riled up. Oh, Justin Sane throwing a kick there. Justin Sane, a couple knife edges here of his own. I'd like this, get out of the corner, Payton. Really working him here. Oh, come on, ref, come on. Come on, you gotta get in there, you gotta Jimmy, stop that. He's wiping the sweat from his eyes. He's, he's doing the gentlemanly thing here in this combat. He's only showing respect. He wants to do this fair, he wants to win this fair. Excuse him. Big knee from Von the Payton there. He's got a cover here too, and it, no. Just a two, still not hooking the leg there, Von Payton. 
might be a, a mistake that he might regret later on. I doubt that. He knows what he's doing. Don't underestimate Von Payton's experience here in the squared circle. Well, it's not actually square at all. Nice octagon we got going on here. Von Payton here setting up. He's measuring Justin Sane. Ooh, big boot there. Justin Sane now to the top. Oh, oh no. Von Payton caught him. And it's the mind bender. He has laid him out with the mind bender. I was telling you about that earlier. Watch this three count. That's a mistake. That's a mistake. He's got to cover him right away. Beautiful. Still no leg. Still no leg. Oh, there's we got a foot on the rope here. We got a foot on the rope. Justin Sane, very aware of his ring presence. He may be young, but he still knows what's going on in there. Now, see Von Payton, just a two. two. Finally hooks the leg, but a little, little too late there for that one, don't you think, Von Payton? A little too late or a little too slow by Dave Dredd. On Those counts are perfectly legal. Well. I wonder if Von Payton's going to go back. Oh, Open uncalled hand. for, Open uncalled hand. for. Where's the warning, ref? High back suplex there, Von Payton. Out of body on body. Still no leg though, only gets a two. Do you think the warning signs are going off in Justin Sane right now that he better make a move or else he's facing loss very quickly? I wonder if Von Payton's gonna go back and review the tapes and notice no leg covers at all. Notice no hooking the leg, if that's gonna be a nice mistake on his part. I think he'll be more so blinded by the glaring slowness and molasses like the Von Payton into the buckle, no. Double boot there from Justin Sane. Nice insiguri. Von Payton's on woobly legs here. Oh! Right. Ah, he hits him hard. Just the same, got him up here. Darkness we falls. are gonna see the darkness falls. Get out of there, no, Von no, Payton. Von Payton knows, he knows. He studied his tapes. Oh, big backbreaker there. You think this is Von Payton's first day at the races? I don't think so, Bob. Beautiful kick to the back. Oh, and oh there's now we got double. two legs. Yeah, Still just cover. a two, though. Still just a two. Von Payton here is really reeling. Checking, checking his face, checking. He may, he may be busted open here, I don't know. Just say probably clawed him in the eyes while trying to kick out. Von Payton here getting back to his feet, laying in a boot there on Justin Sane. I hate to interrupt this highly contested match, but I just received word that following the conclusion of this contest, we will be speaking to the motion pitcher Ethan Page and his agent, Mr. Mello. No doubt, Noel, some words of wisdom will be laid upon us by Ethan Page. Von Payton here really working that arm of Justin Sane. That left arm is getting wrenched right out of the socket. He's applying pressure with that foot to the head. Wow, now he's just toying with him. He's just driving that foot into the face. Gonna be darn near impossible for Justin Sane to hook on the darkness falls with a bad arm. You got a gut wrench backbreaker there. And a bad back. Von Payton here going for a cover. He's got that arm right on that neck. He's only getting a two, though. I know you've been criticizing him for not hooking the leg, but notice that cover. He drove the point of the elbow into the side of the face to Justin Sane. He's making it increasingly harder for him to kick out every time. Von Payton here now pulling Justin to his feet. Justin's a little weary here. He's got to get some of that adrenaline back from the fans. These fans got to get behind him. Von Payton here whipping Justin Sane into the corner. Oh, follows in. Oh, no one home. Took too long, I will I will admit that. He's getting him up. Darkness falls. Darkness falls. No. No, Von Payton knows where he's at. Oh, Mindbender. Mindbender. Here we go. Justin Sane here. Rear waist lock here. Von Payton switching it up. Big elbows there by Justin Sane. Gets him up for the wheelbarrow. Both men jockeying for position. We got a pinning predicament. No. Just a one. Justin Sane going for that. Going for that darkness falls again. He's got him up. Beautiful. Sunset flip here. Still no pin. Oh, big oh, knee. Big knee from Justin Sane. He's got to capitalize knee. here. Knee pad was probably no, down. Very legal about it. He's got him up here for the Darkness Falls. Can he hit it? Can he? Yes, he hits it. He's got to make that cover, though. Here we go. We got one, two, three. Justin Sane takes a victory over Michael Von Payton. I will admit, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with Justin Sane towards the end of that match. He stuck it out. But now, let's head to the back and talk to my man. The motion pitcher, Ethan Page. Hi there, Alpha One fans. So, I'm just gonna introduce myself to you. I am the motion pitcher, Ethan Page. The leader of the elite group, the Entourage. The highest paid man, the best looking yeah. man, the greatest talent. However, however you get him here, you just get him here. That's all, that's all we want. That's all we want. Yeah, we want him. Got your unemployment, buddy. Awesome. It's gonna skyrocket you. I don't know how you can get it further high. I don't either. But we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't care. Fly him out here. Whatever you need to do, book him. We want him. We want to kick his butt. 
Do it. Okay. Who is it? Mr. Colin Delaney, my friend, former WWE superstar. Wow, there you have it. The next A1 television main event has been signed. We're going to see Colin Delaney taking on motion picture Ethan Page. Colin Delaney calls himself the extremely cute wrestler, but he has his work cut out for him against Page. But back to the action here now. We're going to see Josh Alexander taking on Scotty O'Shea in this epic main event. Epic may be the understatement of the year as these two friends square off to see who really is the better superstar. We're at the action now. The hacker, Scotty O'Shea, Josh Alexander, friends, trained together, traveled together. You know, I don't want to hear any of that. Let's see what they can do in the ring. Sure, you can talk about anyone's credentials all day long, but once they get in the ring, that's what I care about. That's what these fans care about. Let's see what these two guys can do. Scotty O'Shea here calling for a test of strength against Alexander. Quick maneuvers here by Scotty, taking Alexander down to his back. I don't be the one to. Uh, I don't want to be the one to break this to Scotty O'Shea, but he's out sized and outmatched by Josh Alexander. Josh does have a size advantage over Scotty. Uh, I'm not sure how many pounds here, but uh, there's got to be a few. Oh, certainly. And right now, he's he's proving that right now. He's proving his advantage, and he's making Scotty work for this to get out of this hold early on in the game. Smart strategy, I gotta say. Scotty O'Shea here just taunting Alexander, having some fun with it. We talk about fun. Scotty O'Shea seems to be the epitome of fun. He comes out with his tape glasses, and he seems to have a great time. But I'll tell you what, Josh Alexander, just from looking at him, doesn't seem like a guy that enjoys a, a good laugh. He's here to fight, he's here to win, and he's here to be a dominant force in A1. Let's not forget, these two competitors are friends outside the ring. You talk about friends, we're supposed to be friends, and, and I, I'm not a big fan of you in this comment. I'm not your friend. I'm not your friend. I'm here for business. Let's watch these two competitors take each other on here. A1 television. This is going to be good. This is going to be good because, you know, they say friends fight better than enemies do. These guys are really going to go at it tooth and nail. And look at this aggressive style by Josh Alexander, something he's famous for and something I'm a personal fan of. Quick headlock takeover there by Alexander. He's really wrenching that neck of Scotty. Scotty with the head scissors now. Alexander right at the ropes though. Ring presence, he knows what's going on. It took Dredd an awful long time to break up that hold. I was, that was just gonna say that's a pretty quick break. Let's give me a break. Both competitors here circling each other, sizing each other up, not really sure what to do. They both know each other's holds, each other's moves. Not that I ever value your opinion, nor would I agree with anything you say, but no, for the record, who's your money on in this match? My money. I mean, I like Scotty. He's out there. He's having a good time. You know, he wants he wants to do right by the fans. But then you got Josh. Look at him right now. He is unbelievably talented. He's jacked, and he just might take over here on Scotty O'Shea. I think that, again, may be a, an understatement on your part, something that I'm not surprised that he may not just take over Scotty O'Shea, he may take over A1. Mark my words, dated here tonight, Josh Alexander is a gigantic force to be reckoned with. Quick nip up there by Alexander showing his athleticism. Schoolboy there by Scotty, no, just a two. Mocking him, mocking him, friendly competition. He's not mocking him, he's warning him, he's warning him, he's telling him, he's telling him he's gonna ship up, that he wants him to bring his best. I think Alexander might be taking Scotty for granted here. He might be not bringing everything he has to the table, thinking that Scotty's not true competition because he's his friend. But Scotty's bringing everything he has here tonight, that's for sure. There is a chance that Alexander could eat his words, but I don't think so. He's too good for that. And uh, just because you were rude and didn't ask me my pick on this match, I'm going to go ahead and tell you Josh Alexander. I like him. I like the cut of his jib. Really working that crowd. You don't even know what a jib is, do you? <laughs> it's on a sailboat, right? Whatever. Watch and learn at Alexander here. Just just take a control of Scotty. A few friendly forearms to the face. How's that for friends? Wow, continuing knife edge chops here from Alexander. He is not letting up. He is not letting up one inch on his friend. That's his friend in there. Well, some friends play Monopoly and uh, connect four. These guys connect forearms. Oh, knife edge there to the back. Scotty rolls him up, he rolls him up, he's got a hook too! No! That ref was way out of position, that should have been a three count. Let me give you a little wrestling lesson. If you target a body part like Josh Alexander's doing, all it takes, no matter the offense of Scotty O'Shea, all it takes is one blow back to that targeted area, and it takes Scotty O'Shea right back down. Very stupid move by Scotty O'Shea here. Wow! 
Big jumping leg kick there by Alexander taking Scotty down on the top rope. He's gonna be setting him up here for something. Alexander getting himself positioned on the top with Scotty. What could he be going for here? I'm no Miss Cleo, but I'm gonna predict this doesn't end well for Scotty O'Shea. He's got him up in a fireman's carry. A gut buster from the top. Unbelievable. That has really got to work the midsection there. Josh Alexander setting his Dean Malenko tapes and is just showing the prowess and knowledge of Josh Alexander. He's got this in the bag. Wow, I thought that might have been over there for O'Shea. He's got to be reeling here. I think he might even be busted open there. I'm not sure if that's internal. That might very well be internal. That could be internal injuries right now. The ref has got to check him. The ref might have to stop the match here. Which uh, stopping the match and getting out of this might be a breath of fresh air for Scotty O'Shea. Oh, you stop it. I'm awesome. I cracked myself up. Alexander here trying to set something up. Scotty driving that elbow into the back of the head. O'Shea off the ropes. Alexander reversal. Ooh, Northern Lights suplex. And a roll through. Driving the shoulder in. I love it. I love it. Oh, good night. He's hooking him in an arm bar here. He is going to try and snap his arm right off. O'Shea has got the ropes. Come on. Does he? I don't know. This camera. You got to get in there, ref. You got to get in there. You got to get that count going. <laughs> Alexander applying that rear choke now. No, no. He's switching it up here. Stretching out the ribs. Stretching out the ribs. Making him breathe. Making him work to get out. This could very well end in, in, in a submission like we talked about earlier. This will not bode well for his lungs and his diaphragm. You can't breathe when you're all stretched out like this. And if Alexander starts throwing those, those right fists into, into his midsection, That's there's it. gonna be no hope. That's all she wrote. Somehow, somehow O'Shea has found his way to his feet. He's throwing in forearms there. Oh, tilt a whirl. Oh! Beautiful, shoulder right into the midsection of Scotty O'Shea. Oh. He, he has to have internal injuries here. That ref has to ask him. I don't know why he's taking over and spending all his time with Alexander. He's got to get over with O'Shea and he's got to ask him if he can continue. He might not even be able to speak. He's got to check on him. He's got to make sure he's right. That's his job in there. That's what A1 is paying him for. There you go. You talk about being friends. Do you think Scotty O'Shea is thinking about being friends right now? Do you think about what he's going to get Josh Alexander for Christmas? He is literally struggling for his breaths right here, and it's over. Watch this. Both men to their feet. Alexander charging in quick. Wow, double stomp there, taking Alexander down. O'Shea, what does he have left? Can he muster something up? Can he get something going? Can he get some kind of offense here to take down Alexander? Big DDT there, holding on. Seen a lot of offense. Is he going? He might, no, he's not going. I thought he's going airborne. Yes, he is. He's going airborne again. Flip it up. Oh, he, again, and second time. He's going for that blue screen of death. That'll cost him. Sunset to... flip. Alexander here. No, no, no pin. No pin. Roll through by O'Shea. Yeah. We got quite a pinning predicament here. Oh. Switching it up. We're getting one counts. One counts. O'Shea rolls through now. Back on to him. Oh, two count. Both men bridging up. Beautiful. Right over into a backslide oh, by like Alexander. No, Scotty. roll through by O'Shea. Ducking the line. Oh, Off the ropes. Big kick. Taking Alexander down. Scotty is nothing but a professional. I have to give him credit where credit is due. But notice that he is getting a little sluggish because normally you exhale when you're trying to catch your breath. It is impossible for him to do that right now because of the onslaught of Josh Alexander. Very, very weak slam there by O'Shea. He's setting him up. Standing moonsault there, showing the athleticism. Two. Who does that no. hurt more, though? Who does that hurt more? The guy with the damaged midsection? That is a great point. A second, second rope moonsault there. No leg cut, no leg hook though. Scotty O'Shea is forgoing his own safety and well-being here in, in hopes of getting the win here, which is, is admirable, but just as stupid as you and all these fans here. Wow. Both men are true competitors. They're true competitors, and they'll, they'll go to great lengths here to pull out a win against each other. No, Bragging yeah. rights is, is really what it's all about here right now. Yeah, yeah, no. Can you tell these fans if they clap harder, that's going to rejuvenate him somehow in the breath area, and he's just going to have more breaths to be able to compete, and his ribs will be fine? Josh Alexander just laying a lung blower out there on O'Shea. I don't know how much O'Shea has got left. Blower or crusher? Destroyer. He's destroying his lungs. What's left of him anyways? O'Shea is lifeless in there. That ref has got to check on him. He may, he may not be he may not be functioning right now. The ref has got to go. He's making too many slow counts for my, my taste. He has to have internal injuries. Alexander making his way to the top. Not very normal here for Alexander. Unorthodox, if you will. He's up to the roof. Unbelievable! That would have been the end of the match if he would have hit it, though. Body on body. O'Shea 
hit the firewall there. He's got to hook him. He's got to pull him in. He's got to hook him. No, no, he's going to the top. Another high risk maneuver. Finally hits the blue screen of death. Is it too Can late? Can he get him? Can he get him? No. Wait a minute. What is that? Two, three, ref. Come on. The time limit expired. Wow. Wow. It's a shame we're not scoring this on points, though, because Alexander would clearly be the victor. No doubt about it. That is that is a letdown. That is a letdown. Wow, we got we're gonna have to see that again. We have to see that again. Let's take a look here. Our first ever A1 replay. He's got him up. They're blue screen of death here. He hits it beautifully. Didn't hook the leg though. Time limit expires. Time limit. You don't need to hook a leg when there's a time limit, right? Show respect here. Both men here. True competition here, true competition. Yeah, good call. Whoa, whoa, good whoa, call. what is going on here? Alexander, what are you, unbelievable. In, in a submission like we talked about earlier. This will not bode well for his lungs and his diaphragm. You can't breathe when you're all stretched out like this. And if Alexander starts throwing those those right fists into, into his midsection, That's there's it. gonna be no hope. That's all she wrote. Somehow, somehow O'Shea has found his way to his feet. He's throwing in forearms there. Tilt a world. Oh, oh! Beautiful. Shoulder right into the midsection of Scotty O'Shea. Oh. He, he has to have internal injuries here. That ref has to ask him. I don't know why he's taking over and spending all his time with Alexander. He's got to get over with O'Shea and he's got to ask him if he can continue. He might not even be able to speak. He's got to check on him. He's got to make sure he's right. That's his job in there. That's what A1 is paying oh him for. There you go. You talk about being friends. Oh. Do you think Scotty O'Shea's thinking about being friends right now? Do you think about what he's going to get Josh Alexander for Christmas? He is literally struggling for his breast right here, and it's over. Watch this. Both men to their feet. Alexander charging in quick. Wow, double stomp there. Taking Alexander down. O'Shea, what does he have left? Can he muster something up? Can he get something going? Can he get some kind of offense here to take down Alexander? Big DDT there. Holding on. Seen a lot of offense. Is he going? He might, no, he's not going. I thought he's going airborne. Yes, he is. He's going airborne again. Oh, no. Slipping up. Oh, he, again, second time. He's going for that blue screen of death. That'll cost him. Try Sunset that. flip. Alexander here. Go, no, no pin. No pin. Roll through by O'Shea. We got quite a pinning predicament here. Switching it up. We're getting one counts. One counts. O'Shea rolls through now. Back on to him. Oh, two count. Both men bridging up. Beautiful. Right over into a backslide by Alexander. No, Scotty. roll through by O'Shea. Ducking the line. Off the ropes. Big kick. Taking Alexander down. Scotty is nothing but a professional. I have to give him credit where credit is due. But notice that he is getting a little sluggish because normally you exhale when you're trying to catch your breath. It is impossible for him to do that right now because of the onslaught of Josh Alexander. Very, very weak slam there by O'Shea. He's setting him up. Standing moonsault there, showing the athleticism. Two. Who does that no. hurt more, though? Who does that hurt more? The guy with the damaged midsection? That is a great point. A second, second row moonsault there. No leg cut, no leg hook, though. Scotty O'Shea is forgoing his own safety and well-being here in, in hopes of getting the win here, which is, is admirable, but just as stupid as you and all these fans here. Wow. Both men are true competitors. They're true competitors, and they'll, they'll go to great lengths here to pull out a win against each other. No, yeah. Bragging rights is, is really what it's all about here right now. Yeah, yeah, no. Can you tell these fans if they clap harder, that's going to rejuvenate him somehow in the breath area, and he's just going to have more breaths to be able to compete, and his ribs will be fine? Josh Alexander just laying a lung blower out there on O'Shea. I don't know how much O'Shea has got left. Blower or crusher? Destroyer. He's destroying his lungs. What's left of him anyways? O'Shea is lifeless in there. That ref has got to check on him. He may, he may not be he may not be functioning right now. The ref has got to go. He's making too many slow counts for my, my taste. He has to have internal injuries. Alexander making his way to the top. Not very normal here for Alexander. Unorthodox, if you will. He's up to the roof. Unbelievable. That would have been the end of the match if he would have hit it, though. Body on body. O'Shea hit the firewall there. He's got to hook him. He's got to pull him in. He's got to hook him. No, no, he's going to the top. Another high-risk maneuver. Finally hits the blue screen of death. Is it too Can late? Can he get him? Can he get him? No. Wait a minute. What is that? Two, three, ref. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, the time limit has expired. Time limit expired. Wow. Wow. It's a shame we're not scoring this on points, though, because... Alexander would clearly be the victor, no doubt about it. 
That is that is a letdown. That is a letdown. Wow, we got we're gonna have to see that again. We have to see that again. Let's take a look here. Our first ever A1 replay. He's got him up. They're blue screen of death here. He hits it beautifully. Didn't hook the leg though. Time limit expires. Time limit. You don't need to hook the leg when there's a time limit, right? Show respect here. Both men here. True competition here. True competition. Yeah. Good. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Good what is going on here, Alexander? What are you? Unbelievable. No, I gotta tell you, I don't like that. I love that. There is no friends in wrestling. Total disrespect there from Josh Alexander. But next time here on A1 Television, we're gonna see Colin Delaney battling against Ethan Page in what is going to be, no doubt, an epic battle. And to stay current with all the events here at Alpha One Wrestling, please check us out at alpha1wrestling.com.